Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you on how to upload your images to Expression Web so that we can edit them in our template and replace our images. So we're going to open up our Microsoft Expression Web. But for a second we're going to go back to the desktop and we're going to open up a folder with our photo that we want to add to the template. Now the photo we're going to add is called This Is My Logo. I'll just open it up and show you what it is. This is what we're going to use to replace our logo for example purposes. So leave this folder open. So we're going to go back to Expression Web and then we're going to open up this folder and drag and drop this over to the left. Yes, we want to replace the folder, the file. We're going to be sure we put this in our images folder. Which here's our folders. We want to be sure we put this in our images folder. As we can see, it is right here. So we want to replace this image right here. So remember earlier video, I showed you that in the code, it's right here. So in order to do this, we're just going to replace loveletters.png with our other tag, which is this is my logo.jpg, which you can read right here. But when we go to design mode, we see, oh no, this image is not transparent. So it does not go through to the, the parchment background. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. What we're going to do to fix this is we're going to go minimize out of this, go back to our folder, and we're going to have to edit the photo. So we're going to go, we're going to use this program called GIMP. It's a great program. I'm going to leave you instructions in the video description on how to download it, but it's free and it's going to be very useful for you. So now that we're in GIMP, we're going to take our image and drag it into here. Now in order to make this transparent, we're going to go to Layer, we're going to go to Transparency, we're going to go to Color to Alpha. It's going to color, this box is the color that's going to make Alpha, which Alpha means transparency. We're going to take the white and we're going to make it transparent. We're going to press OK, it's going to make it transparent. Now we have to export this full file. We gotta select the file extension by the way. To make it transparent, we gotta go to PNG. So we're gonna scroll down and press on PNG. We're gonna press on export. It's gonna export it into the same folder. Now notice these are two different images. One is a JPEG and one is a PNG. The PNG is the transparent image. So now exporting it. Open up Expression Web. Now, like we did earlier, we'll need to add the PNG image in, because we replaced it with the JPEG. But I'm going to show you another way on how to add images. We can go to File, Import File. We're going to add a file, and it already pulled up this since it's the last folder I opened. Notice that this one is the, it doesn't say, of course, okay. Hover over it. This is the PNG file. This is the JPEG image. We want the PNG file. I'm going to press OK. It's going to upload the PNG. We have to refresh. Yes. This is, this is my logo.png. So in the code, we're going to change love letters high res like we did earlier to this is my logo.png. Now, when we go and look at it, it's transparent. So now it blends in to the background and we can add whatever logo we would like. That is how you replace images in Expression Web. Now, this will not replace the image on the server. In order to do this, we're going to have to go to Site and Publishing. Now, the full files on the left are the ones that are on our computer, and the files on the right are the ones that are on the server, which people see online. Notice that we have the Images folder open. 
what we need to do is go down to what we just did, PNG. This is my logo.png. We're going to click on this, and we're going to push this arrow, and it is going to put it onto the server for us. So now that folder, that image can be found on the web page. If we did not upload it to the server, the template would try to pull a dead image, and nothing would show up. I will give you instructions on how to more in depth on how to use publishing FTP to transfer files to the server in my next video.